Hello ladies and gentlemen and this is JRex 2.0 back at you and today we are going to start episode 1 of Peterville and so basically I'm pretty sure we're just gonna set up the farm and stuff because well my grandpa uh, theoretically not real life but um in this game my grandfather passed away and I inherited a lot of money in his land. So, but no equipment. So, we are going to buy some equipment here. And, I'm a very big fan of Massey Ferguson. So, I'm going to buy mostly Massey Ferguson tractors. And we'll just, there we go. Mostly Agco equipment. Buy this one for a small tractor. And we don't need a large one, but, um, let's see. We may need to buy this John Deere, because who cares? It's a John Deere. Everybody needs a John Deere once in their life. Alright, now we need to buy, buy our harvester, which I think. Ooh, that's a big chunk of money. Okay. So we have all our tractors and stuff. Let's buy. Actually, no. want to buy a semi. Probably buy one of the man equipment or we'll buy this. Nope. Hmm. This one looks good. Oh, and I'm wondering if it if it can um no it can't be used for that okay so we're gonna buy this man for x eighteen point five hundred and I don't know what color we'll just do no that's ugly um. Matte black, how about that? <clears throat> no, very picky. <laughs> um, there we go. Okay, that does not look good. That just looks like a Chinese truck. Alright, we'll buy that. And we'll have to buy implements. So, uh, I'll just start out with the bean head. I'm running low on money. And just use one of these. Um. Mm. I guess we'll use this one, the aggro. Okay. And we got to buy a cedar. By the agro maz. And uh, front end loader, front end loader, because those are important. Uh, 
and bale forks or forgot we had the CZS thing and those are all buckets they used to be all bale forks and stuff a lot more categories in there hmm. that's a shame well I guess we'll just buy this one and then we'll buy a trailer I think this is a good choice right here uh, I don't know why I may buy that fludgy. Not that many choices through with trailers and stuff, so I'll just stick with the fludgy as it's gonna be a little bit hard to back it up, but I'll be alright. And it has yeah, it has it. Okay, that's good. It'll be alright. I can fit more stuff on there. Shoot. I gotta turn my help window on. Okay, it's a little bit different controls for some reason. I need to turn um, automatic engine start off. Cannot take that. I gotta fix up this tractor right here. There we go. Now we can connect that front end loader. This tractor is going to have a lot of, uh, I think it's hours on it for feeding cows and stuff like that guess we'll pull this on the trailer don't want to screw it up so Actually, you know what? This will go later. I need to put a uh, implement on there. And I don't know why I'm flicking through equipment, but I think we'll use the aggro planner. Pull around here and load it up. Not that straight, but 
I think we can get it. Perfected. Perfect. I think I can actually, uh... Lift them up, sort of. Yeah, there we go. Please do not screw up, tractor. Okay, so our farm... Is right over there so we'll have to turn right and go up the hill and now I'll, I'll probably edit it out just cause so I will be right back okay so we're at the farm now and I'm gonna have to somehow uh, get in here so I think I can manage uh, no please work oh, oh. So we're going to have to go on the wrong side of the road for a second. Alright, let's see here. Oh, car, please don't crash into me. Come on. This is not a good deal. I don't know why you would ever put a turnout like that. You know what? Yeah, I know, car. I'm probably damaging my equipment. And I just got hit on collision. Probably just gonna unload my equipment right here. I figure it out. Back this puppy up. turn traffic up for a second yeah, let's just drive over there there we go okay we'll wait a second here I'll figure this out This thing is a pain to back up though. I can't believe it. I just figured that out. <sighs> wow. Well, that's kind of amazing. And is there another way out? I hope there is because I'm going to explore. Be Dora, Explore, Dora the Explorer. Yeah, there's a there it is. I think it's a way out. I hope it is. <clears throat> Should be some gate. Actually, you know what? I'll just turn around here. Instead. Of 
course. Okay, I figured out my technique. With when I'm going to use this is just go straight and then turn. Just got lost. Bollocks. That's all right. I will try to figure this out. Ah, oh, dear. Oh, shit. I'm in a mess. I'm a mess right now. Just everywhere. Well, I'm probably going to, um... I'll be back in a bit. Okay, so we're back at the shop, and we're going to take another load, same old, same old. Alright, this time we're going to take the planner and the John Deere. There we go. Got the old green turd started up. We'll load this piece of crap up. And get this lined up. There we go. There's a lot of space there. And there we go. That's what you want. Is that right there? That's just perfect. Okay, now let's head to the farm. And I'll be right back. Alright, so we're here. And we're gonna... S I don't know how we're gonna get this in there, but we will. Just like that. There we go. Okay. Maybe you got this. Just pull. There we go. Alright. I gotta pull out in here. And unload that sucker. Alright.
Alright, now carefully back this up. The funny part I, about this game is that my back what my backup skills I don't really have that good of backup skills on this, but the backup skills on this actually help me in real life. For I don't even know why it just does. But that's all I had to say there. Alright, now we're gonna somehow get this trailer back up and running. Over to the shop again. I think I know my route. Turn around. Somewhere around here. I think I have enough room to turn around right here. Yeah, there we go. And somehow fit my trailer through here. There we go. Perfect. Very perfect. Alright. So, I'm going to go back to the shop and pick up some more equipment. So, I will be right back again. Alright, so we're back at the shop here. And now all we gotta do is pick up that small tractor. The small Massey. And that's it. And buy four bales, just cause. Load them up with me. <laughs> All right, now let's get these bales on my forks. I could somehow get it in there. Oh shoot. Or lower that. Luckily this is a front wheel assist tractor.
purple lighting. Strapped in and stuff. Now I'll we'll just pull this trailer out. Still don't know why my blinker's on. Alright, now let's take a left turn here. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, so we're back at the farm. And do this sketchy turn in again. Shoot. Me and my bad driving. I think I got this. There we go. I'll get in there. I think it has it. I think I got it. There we go. Alright. Okay. There we go. Not that old. Why did I? That's alright. Okay. I expected. I have no idea what kind of gravity that is right there. It's Minecraft gravity, I guess. I guess we'll just unload the bales right here. Sloppy job with that. I got to fish out that bale on the trailer. I think it's an easy job. If this was in real life, that bale would be apart, like falling apart. But luckily, this is Farming Simulator, so... Hay bales don't fall apart, especially if they're square. <laughs> there we go. Now what we gotta do is just park the equipment. There we go, and park the little tractor here. Right there, so they can be buddies. Okay, now I gotta find a spot where to park this, but I think I'll find the area. There's a flat barn there where it's open. I had a drive through barn where I could drive through each side. But that's never going to happen. And then back this up some.
Alright, there we go. Alright, now let's hop in the... Well, I gotta bring that back. I'll do that later. Hop in this puppy wheel here. We'll put it in that shed right there. I had no idea I had hay bales in there. I may park the equipment in a separate shed. It's probably a good idea. Probably park it in that big shed right there. Speed combine shed and all the tractor shed. Except for the small one. And the semi shed. We'll park the semi in there. Alright, and hop in the big massy. And park that in the big shed. Actually, no, I gotta park this uh, planter in the other shed first. <laughs> or the cedar. To be correct. Okay. Got an aggro mass setup right there. Massey Ferguson and aggro mass. And then you got the weird John Deere. The weird John Deere is just weird. <laughs> Then we'll get the Massey Combine. First we need to buy a, um, a trailer. And, uh, let's see how big uh, the header is. Um, looks like we'll just use a, What does it take? Um, doesn't say. Uh, we'll just lease that one. Okay, that's perfect. And now we're gonna buy it. Okay. Now we got it. I know you're not supposed to set it up backwards, but I've seen some people do that. I've, I've seen a lot of people do that, and I'm wondering if it's actually that's the way that you actually do it. So, set the header up backwards on that trailer, so I'll try it.
Nope, it does not work. I feel like those people are pretty dumb. I'm dumb for thinking that it would work. So, just crashed in there. So we're just going to take a trip down to the farm after I get this header set up. I never knew this, I don't know why, but like, headers will not go through hedgerows, or hedges. I don't get it. Look at this combine going through it, but the header won't. Never have got that. Let's hope this, um... Yeah, there we go. Barely. Barely even touches it. That's good. Okay. I'll see you back at the farm in a bit. Alright, so we're back at the farm. I'm about over about past that and we're gonna try to get this combine in this crappy turn and there's a mistake there Alright, there we go. So I got that in there. Make sure we close the door. Okay. Now let's pop this puppy in there. If it'll fit. I think it'll fit. Yeah, it'll fit. Alright, so I'm done with this farm setup. I got the yard all set up and stuff. And thank you for watching. And you guys have a good morning or night.